Now we are going down into Jelly Shroom, which is this way. Right over here. There it is. I do want to get a Jelly Shroom sample. Let me save it. The lighting off of that thing is pretty wicked. Let's get one of these. Sample from that. Do we have a violet bow? I don't remember. I think we do. Pretty sure we do, actually. That's okay. Okie doke. Down, down, deeper and down. We have a sample from this... Do we? I don't know. I know we have a papyrus one. Into the deep. Here would be a convenient place to get a jelly shroom sample without being too bothered by the denizens. Excellent. Yep, there we go. These don't have a lifespan. That's good. Good. And, you know, you don't have to grow these for anything. I just like them for aesthetics. Yippity-doo. Yippity-dip-dop-doo. We are here for magnetite. That is our main goal. I have a crap load of gold, so... I'm going to pass on that for now. Swap the blade and the scanner. Again, this is a very cool biome. It would not be a bad idea to build a base here, you know, if you wanted to. Hey, I'm going to drill this. I came here for magnetite, but it seems like we're always low on silver. So this is good because we need it for wiring kits. You know, I do believe that it takes a different amount of time to mine different ores, ore outcrops. Am I correct about that? Just seems like this went a lot faster than that lithium last time. Ah. Don't I feel stupid. Okay. <laughs> My diamond. Wasn't that long ago that we kind of, you know, the first time you come here, you kind of feel a little bit sheepish. But the prawn suit has the effect of making you feel much more powerful, which the PDA, if you'll recall, warns you about that. Magnetite is our big focus. There's a little piece of it. I think I'm full. My inventory. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do some fancy stuff. Now I'm going to get this. Alright. So that's one. There's another one there. I desperately need more storage for the friggin' wrong suit, don't I? It's okay. It's okay. There are large outcrops of magnetite in here, I think. I think I remember seeing such a thing. It's a hole over there. I think I remember there being magnetite outcrops near uh, actual jelly shrooms. But, you know, I could be making that up. There's another gold. 
This is a, like a lava tube type thing. Can you walk on that? I guess you can. Couldn't remember. Would you mind your own business, sir? Can we not fit through this one little hole? Are you serious? <laughs> oh well. That's okay. Don't get it stuck. There you go. There you go. Magnetite. We're not going to be able to hold it all. But we'll get what we can get and we can get the rest later. And there's a little bit more there. So you may think I'm crazy, but I'm gonna put a beacon here. Uh, magnetite, mag out crop. We can always pick it back up, right? I know a lot of you may be saying, "Why are you jumping around? The outcrops are gonna be on the floor." Well, yeah, but this cave is extremely difficult to navigate with a walking machine. A little tricky getting back out of here, but it's no big deal. I wouldn't attempt this without the grappler. Son of a bitch. There you go. Just use the grappling arm and you should be able to get up out of here again. Just wait till your booster fills back up. And then you can let go. So we came out of a different entrance. Exit, actually. That's okay. My god, that boat looks good, doesn't it? I love the darker color scheme. I just love that. And it shouldn't be too bad to get up in there. Alright, that should have us done for a while. I may come back and get some more later. But right now, these stupid biters are driving me effing crazy. So I need to get the boat out of here. It keeps jostling the boat and banging it into things. And it's just... So irritating. Okay, let's go back to the base. All right, we're back at base. Let's see what we've hatched. Goodness gracious. It's quite the zoo in here. We got some crash fish. We got a crab squid. We got uh, spade fish. We got sand shark. We got a jelly ray. Not bad. The crab squid is really terrifying. Um... I think you can... If you hadn't already scanned these, this would be a good time to scan them. Uh, they're docile, you know. You can just get all your stuff. and. So now that we know what those eggs do, what can we plant in here? Anything? I don't have any seeds with me. Look at that. Raised in containment. Fascinating. Uh, one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start just... Uh, I'm going to put some Reginalds in here and, and let them reproduce. Because those are actually very high calorie fish. Very good. Now, what do we do with our uh, our other friends? I don't know. Just throw them in a locker? You can do that. <laughs> it seems kind of bizarre. But yes, you can. Ink cap. Speckled Rattler. We could plant those in the old sub. 
Hmm. What to do now? What to do? Have a snack. All right. So I'm going to make some storage. I'm also going to make the stasis rifle, I guess. That seems like a logical thing. Let's do it. Stasis rifle. This might be useful against leviathans and all kinds of other critters. So that's good. Um, in fact, let's unpin it. All right, very good. Now let's check this bad boy out. Oh yeah. Motivational note: Craig McGill crash landed in the acid swamps at Boreal Nine, fought off arachnid kidney poachers, and hijacked a tame Star War. If he can do all that, you can survive one more day. All right, Craig McGill. Sounds good to me. Now we have to do. Son of a gun. We have to do storage. So that is in the vehicle bay. This is what I'm wanting for my prone suit, you know? So we can be a more effective miner. Don't know why I haven't done it before now, but it is what it is. Nincompoopery? Maybe. Maybe that's it. I love how this triangle is red, but it's made to appear redder because it has a yellow border clever use of color there okay this here storage storage for now this is all we want for our prawny and unpin it there we go Geronimo inside. Look at that. Look how homey. Our home away from home. Up we go. We go here. Uh, can you not... Can you not access... Um. Oh yeah, here. Here we go. Well, I could make a fourth one. Huh. Well, let's do that. Let me go get the stuff. I'll be right back. Uh, I wouldn't happen to have it here, would I? Oh, I would. It's two titanium and a lithium. Three? Three titanium and a lithium? I think so. All right. I'll see you. I mean, later you may want different modules for the prawn suit, but right now we're focusing on mining, so it seems to me like that makes all the sense in the world. We also need to go over here and check on our cuttlefish. See how he's doing. Play with him. I just saw you. You were over here. Are you hiding from me? There you are. What's up, man? How you doing? Want a cracker? Don't ask me where I get these. You know, they're somewhere. Uh, how about some scratches? Want a scritchy scratch, huh? Itchy itchy. <laughs> tickle tickle. You're so cute. Okay. What was I doing? Oh. This. I need to go in the base and pretend like I know what I'm doing. Yes, that's it. I'll just go in this way. Aboard, the most underutilized door in the place. Let's just turn that off, shall we? These stalkers are really starting to congregate. The the Cyclops is not for play. Not for play. Alright, so we should have done this. I mean, if you were playing optimally, you would have done this before you went to Jelly Shroom. But we did not, so there you go. Uh, plant. What should I put up here? Pink cap. See it? Look at it. It's not phallic at all. 
Over here, we'll put the speckled rattler. He's just hanging. Maybe I'll get a couple voxel shrubs and put on those two sides. I don't know. Whatever. Um, let's see. So now... What do we do? What do we do? All right. We have successfully launched the Cyclops into the air, which is good. We're flying. You, you, know, you know, you're glad you have the recorder on when this happens because uh, this is great. Now we're upside down. And we're just careening out of control. That's good. Now where are we? Or upside down? You kidding? You're not kidding. Look at that. It's banging against the rock. We're going to hope a reload fixes that. Uh, well, what happens if you fix it? This is what happens when you get hull damage, by the way. Yeah, you can't fix it. Hmm. Yeah. Let's reload. All right. That's better. Behave yourself, children. Okay. What? Uh, let's see. All right. We do, in fact, have a full set of backup power cells, so that's good. I'm pleased to see that. Come on. Have we immobilized him? Apparently we have. It works. Okay, it's great. wonder if you can do that on yourself. That'd suck, wouldn't it? Hey, look. They've got a baby. Let's just let him go in there for a while till we get a whole bunch. How about that? All right. Here's something fun. We're just going to walk to Jelly Shroom. How about that? So the Jelly Shroom Cave is actually right under where we're at right now. Because, okay, there here's our base. There's the life pod, right? There's one entrance there. And then there's another one over there. So we, we, it's like right under us. Cool. Anyhow, it shouldn't be too much for trouble to just walk there. We might find something cool on the way. And then I'm going to get serious about going down deeper. Full spooky warning, you know. It's going to get it's going to get worse before it gets better. So if you are afraid of the ocean, I could have swore I saw the thing. Guess what we can get another of. <laughs> Where's it at? There it is. There we go. It's magic. Magic? Music to my ears. I'm going to stop here because this might be copper. It's not. I'm a fiend for copper. I like copper in real life. Uh, I had this... I had a pretty decent coin collection at one time, but someone stole it from me and sold it for drug money. But um, I had this really good uh, collection of old pennies, and I had an old 
large cent. If you know something about anything about coins, you'll know what that is. It was in 1853. It was mint condition. Large cent. Big old chunk of copper. I love that. That was my favorite coin in the whole in the whole thing. It was a really nice coin collection. Very valuable. And, uh, yeah, someone very near and dear to me stole it and sold it for drug money. And so, yeah. It's actually one of my... I, 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 I worry. I still, like, get very anxious about that still. And it's given me major trust issues. Anyway, sorry to... I don't mean to bog us down with that kind of thing, but just be careful who you trust, people. Because it's always the ones that... Well, anyway, I don't want to get too far into that. Anyhow, um, let's go back to Jelly Shroom. I have a feeling I'm going to want to do a lot of glass. Because I have an idea for another base, and we're not quite to the place yet. But I know I'm going to want a lot of glass down there, so. Pick up that quartz, man. Pick up that quartz. Down we go. Why am I back here? Well, I want a couple things. A cave bush sample and just more magnetites because I'm, I'm a, a magnetite lover. Ah! A fail! Oosh. Okay. Over here we go. The purple light in here really makes the red prawn suit glow, doesn't it? There's a cave bush. I think you can take a sample of the cave bush. You can. Is it huge like all the others? It is. That's okay. I just like to have representative fauna, you know what I mean? There's the Oculus. One of my favorite fish. In fact, let me catch one. We don't have one in our fish tank. Come on. A wily booger, eh? What, am I Canadian all of a sudden? I've lived all over the place, folks, so, you know, you gotta take that in mind into uh, consideration. Would it be overkill to stasis rifle these things? Probably. There, I got one. I need two. I got one. This makes life easy, doesn't it? Yeah. I may want to breed these. Rocks Roost Fish Breeder Incorporated. Anywho, there's the lithium. Which, I have quite a bit of lithium. I don't... Magnetite is what I don't have much of. Ah, yeah. This is that crash zone track. That's one of my favorite tracks. Really, really super groovy. I don't have an eye eye either. Come on. Well, it uh, overshot, but it looks like one swam into the bubble. There we go. Couple of those. Maybe want to, you know, like a deep sea fish tank. That'd be fun. Even though this isn't super deep, it's still mysterious. Know what I mean, Vern? be a terrible
terrible idea maybe to put a scanner room down here. Uh, we already have that. You know, so you could see. We have a lot of storage. I have all my aux slots filled with storage right now, so we're going to be good, I think, for a while down here. We are mining fools. Got more bugged crab snakes. I'm telling you, I swear, this, I think this game has more bugs now than it did uh, a couple years ago, but maybe I'm just making things up. It's not even really there, see? Can you imagine how strong that cable would have to be? It's kind of crazy. Alrighty. Was there a magnetite outcropping up here? I feel like there was maybe not I don't know oh maybe I'm wrong maybe they will aggro on this on the prawn for some reason I was thinking they wouldn't but it looks like I was wrong Two diamonds? Three? Three for three? No. It's okay. Hey, 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 looky here. Nice. How are we on storage now? Oh yeah, we still have some room. That's great. And so there's at least two more pieces left in this outcrop over here that we left a buoy at. Or a beacon. Whichever name you like, there's another one here. Might as well get it. I want to mine some quartz too, and it seems like there was some quartz... Somewhere, maybe in the bulb zone? Am I remembering that right? If you recall, let me know in the comments, viewers. There were several large outcrops of quartz somewhere. And again, that's because I'm going to get window crazy at our next base. Gotta have the quartz for that. There we go. Good, good, good. Two more. I wonder if we have enough. See, there's a piece there. But I wonder if we have enough to finish this outcrop off. Enough space, that is. There's probably other outcrops in here, too. I see one right here. This would be a kind of a cool place to have a beacon. It's next to this module right here. Again, I don't know if we're going to need a whole lot more magnetite, but... Just something to keep in mind. You know what I mean? I can't be much more than two pieces left here, surely. Two. Exactly. Nice. Okay. And uh, get out of here, and I'll see you back at our base. Stay safe. Yeah, here's another one. So, yeah, it would be good to... Okay, I, I don't know how much magnetite we're going to need. We can't need that much more, you know what I mean? All right. I went back to the island, the floating island, and got me some... Specimens. Get those voxel shrubs going up there. Also got some seeds for the pink camp and the speckled rattler. Grub basket. Jaffa cup. And the uh, bulbo tree sample. Now, we need to get the bulbo tree doing its thing. So, let's see. Get some titanium. And how much of this we're going to actually use. But let's put a pot. 
Well, you know, what, what's, what do you want to do? The Sheik Bot? I don't know. Sheik Bot? I think it'll go here. Will it affect my slashing? I don't know. Yeah, we can get one of those growing there. Look at him bouncing. Uh, we need to get in a couple others. We need some more. Or do we want to go with uh, composite? I don't know. One here somewhere? Uh, this might be terrible. Don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Get him in there. Get him grow. Why is he leaning in a funny way? I don't, I don't know. Is this going to cause ship problems? And one growing there. And uh, for why not? But why not purposes? I don't know. Let, let's be annoying to everyone who's OCD like me and do a, a do. Oh no. Do a different type of pot on this side. Let's not do it on second thought. Let's grow the Jaffa cup in there. I don't really have a huge rhyme or reason for what goes where yet. I'm just, I'm just, uh, you know, fooling around. You know what I mean? Just so I have samples going. You know, this is a lab ship after all. By the way, in case I didn't show you. I've moved the microscope back here, so you know you can stand here and observe your samples and whatnot. This is like the lounge, but also a task room. Does that make sense? Makes sense in my head. Anywho, so I think now it would be a good idea to go hunting for some deep areas. Hunting for some deep areas. Uh, Lost River, maybe. I think we might be in for uh, some fun with that. I think we need to go into the base. Check on our Reginald population. Grab the other power cell. I think I'm going to take the Seamoth. I may regret that. I think I'll take the Seamoth for now. Let's check on our Reginald population. How's it going? My goodness. Gracious. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? I didn't want to take one and leave, but hey, whatever. Just leave two and they will do their thing. I'm saving these Reginalds for a very good reason. At least I keep telling myself that. Now, I have the... Seamoth docked. And I think that's for a good reason. I added the sonar for the Seamoth. Because it seemed like it made sense to me, you know? Alright, let's head out. Now, where am I going? I don't remember. <laughs> Uh, but that's okay. I think I'm going to the south. South. Let's just uh, get on over here, away from the base. And all the topography. We don't need that. In fact. In fact. Captain... Uba Duba here. Let us. We don't really need the life pod indicator right now. Well, let's leave it. Uh, one of the things we have not done is I picked up a PDA in that one wreck. I never did check it, did I? There's some more pictures I took mostly mistakenly. Craig McGill, our hero, and public documents. Altera Citizen Testimonials Frank told us this. I hear there are worlds out there where kids still learn from books. It sounds like Vermont. They go into a classroom every day. They memorize things. Then later, they type those things out in controlled environments. Or worlds where everyone's supposed to do whatever creative job they feel like. 
What use is learning to draw or sing in a world where there's no human resource department to coordinate the galleries and concerts? On Altera Worlds, psychometric testing and specialized digit training make the most of everyone's talents. Max Zokanoff, I started out marketing for Altera Survival Systems. It was good work, but I thought I could do better. I set up my own company developing bespoke code for the Seamoth so it can operate in open space, not just underwater. That's super cool. I sold up to Altera 10 years ago, and now it's one of the most widely used vehicles in the galaxy. Now I'm on the board of directors, and I haven't looked back. Now, that brings up an interesting question. When Subnautica 3 comes out, are we going to have Seamoth in space? I don't know. That might be interesting. George said, an average day for me starts at 10 a.m. I live in a controlled habitat on Terra 17, so everything I need is less than five minutes away. I'm naturally an empathetic person, so I took work as a companion. I spend my days visiting clients, talking with them, learning about them, paying them the attention that everyone needs and deserves. And like everyone out of Altera Worlds, I'm lucky enough to earn a living doing things I enjoy. Goodness gracious, what a puke fest. Kaz says, we're lucky, we're free, we have jobs. There are transgovs out there that do everything with robots, you know. You know, I guess you have a point there. Okie doke. It's important to sit down while you do that, by the way. Uh, because it reduces your food and water drainage while you're, you're sitting down. You know what I'm saying? That may not be immediately obvious, but anyhow... What are we doing? Where are we going? I don't know. Let's head this way. I need a little bit of confirmation. Um, you know, let's, let's, let's have good habits here. I don't want to drive you crazy. But looking back at beacons... The 500 meter habitat. Where is that? That's somewhere we need to check out a little bit more. We were kind of Frady Cat mode when we were there before. Albeit for good reason. Now we have the stasis rifle and the uh, protective field on the Seamoth. So we're in much better place to deal with the crab squid. Where was the... Which pod was the one that was near the amp eels? I wish I could remember. Hmm. I may be going in totally the wrong way. In fact, let us just go to the... Let's, let's, let's scratch all that. Let us go to the 500 meter Degasi base. Let us do that. And see how my memory stacks up. Uh, well, maybe we are going in, in generally the right direction then. Because it, it's right over here. It's dark. The sonar will be a welcome upgrade for this, by the way. So that we can kind of see the topography. Because you can't see squat here. Let's go to camera. You can see a little better with the cameras. The keel camera is one of the more useful. They're all useful. But the keel camera I find to be super useful. You know, we know we're in open water generally. So right now, because we're not in a cave, we don't need to worry about the conning tower. So we can just look under the boat and, and see what we can see. And using the keel camera we can see the screw and we can see these nacelles here now the screw camera is useful because it's right on the back of the boat and you can really see you know where you're at at the back so that's uh, you know super useful plus uh, you can watch it go isn't that fun anyhow kill camera for now
What is the distance? Yeah, it's a ways yet. So I have a question. We are headed south. Somewhere out of this plateau. I remember there being a trench that goes to the blood kelp zone. Am I imagining that? Is that it? I have to wonder. Engine powering down. Let's check. And best to probably check with the Seamoth, I guess. This could be it. This could very well be it. Yikes. Well, this goes into the Grand Reef. This is the Grand Reef here, yeah. Hmm. Let's, for now, just scout ahead with the Seamoth. How's that sound? Oh, it's super hot here. This would be a good place for a... A uh, whatnot. Thermal base. Thermal power plant. There's a warper here. I just saw his little flash of light. Grab that rupee. While wow, it's staring me in the face... I don't remember what the minimum temperature is for the thermal power plant. Is it 30? That would be kind of low, I would think, but for some reason I think that's it. Correct me if I'm wrong, viewers. I'm, I'm sure that I'm probably wrong. Now, the area that I'm eventually going to get down to is called the Lost River. There's a way to get the Cyclops down there, and if this is where I think it is, then we are we are on the right track. But I'm just going to scout ahead with the Seamoth. You know, might as well. There's a lot of quartz here. I probably should have brought the Sea Glide, but... How much quartz do I have? Some. I get this one. There's a warper around here somewhere, though. If you like this biome for a base, which it is pretty cool, thermal's definitely a nice option for here. I like this multicolored texture on this uh, stack, chimney stack thing. I forget what those are called. Anywho, let's sally forth. Selecting the defense mechanism. Swim around to top up this battery. Anybody else need charging? No. So you do need the max depth for the Seamoth to go where I think we're going. Just 
keep that in mind. There's a crab squid there. Turn the light off. Maybe he won't see ya. What, did he just, like, vanish? I know, no, I'm not gonna question too much. Or maybe that's him over there. Alrighty, so there's Degasi base number two. So the area we're looking for, if I remember, does in fact connect to here. Just be careful. I'm going to get this Uraninite. And what? It's crab squid egg, I think. Just be careful while you're down here, because they can get you. We don't have the parts for nuclear yet, but we may one day, so get these. Is this, uh, what is this, titanium? Yep. Again, it makes a little Geiger sound when you pick those up, but... I don't think you need the radioactive suit. It doesn't even seem to be doing me any harm. It's just kind of a flavor sound effect, you know. These things are so pretty. Uh -huh. You can hide in here from crab squid, I guess. Couldn't you? There's another piece of uraninite. Might as well get it. Mm-hmm. You're going to regret this, bub. Yeah. Everybody just got zapped. That thing, I don't know if you noticed, but that thing has a heck of a range on it. Let me kind of get reoriented. I, I got distracted there. and Yeah, so this way. Is it this? It's this way, I think. Yeah, see these green puddles? Oh yeah, this is the right way. This is the right way. Okay, that's that's always fun. Where's the uh, sea moth? There it is. Don't let that deter you, viewers. Just gonna follow this green stuff. That's gonna take us way down now warning <laughs> if you weren't spooked yet you probably will be going on down here so do uh gird your loins if you are a uh, afraid of this uh, scenario here just a fair warning it's gonna get spookier now the sonar you press the left trigger and you get this boop. You send out a bing, a ping, rather. Would you? Frick frackin'. Looks like we need to do some scanning. Amoeboid. Does not compute. We'll read that later. Got some gel sacks down here. It looks like a crap load of quartz. And uh, this, this is new. What is this? Are you... Are you fleeing the scene? or? Remember you swim a little faster. 
when you're not holding anything. The Ghost Ray. One of the more uh, relaxing critters here. In 4546B. You can see his innards. <laughs> this is a beautiful creature. Yeah, this is the Lost River. This Don't get in that. That'll hurt you. Over here's a big bone. Look at that. I don't think these are scannable. No. Yeah, look at this big bone. It's like a Leviathan bone. So this is sort of a... You can think of it as like a Leviathan graveyard in a way. Now, getting the Cyclops down here is... Uh, not easy. You just have to be super careful. But you really should get it down here. There's one of our friends we've seen before. Careful not to get into the green stuff. Is that just more quartz? Quartz, quartz, and more quartz. It's in. It's embedded in the wall, I guess. Yeah. Careful of the light that aggravates the crab squid. And just head on down this way. We'll bring the Cyclops down here in a little bit. Now that we know this is the right way. And just, uh, you know, kind of putter around. This is a huge area. Notice how slow we appear to be going. You know how fast this Seamoth is. We are going at full speed here. And there is a fork in the road. It actually may not be a bad idea to go back and get the Cyclops, actually, right now before we get too discombobulated. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to do that. And I'll just meet you back when I'm at the Cyclops. So, Because I want to show you how to get it down here. Alrighty. We're back in the sub. Let's see if we can get it down there. I may be thinking of the wrong place. But I feel like this is where you can get it down. You just have to be careful. Because remember this thing isn't the world's most maneuverable craft so camera use is required here gonna bring yourself alongside this trench hey if we had the prawn suit with us we could mine that giant quartz outcrop but oh well we may have somewhere near the right amount of quartz for now. I'm going to go up a bit here. Once we get over this shallow area, we should... Oops, sorry. We should be okay. There is another way in. To the Lost River that the Cyclops can go in, but uh, this there's a blood kelp entrance and that, that I was thinking this was it, but it, it's not just be careful as you go down here don't crash into anything we may find that this is too tight I don't know watch out watch out, I'm so sorry oh well again, we're generally heading toward the 500 meter Degasi base. Keep that in mind. Camera. Yeah, full full light. It's just dark as crap down here. Alrighty, we're going to bring it about. If you kind of get a little disoriented, just stop. You know, look around. Use the little icon in the lower, uh, lower right there. Just stop, you know. They're, they're, we're not running a race, so, you know, just take it easy. 
Now it's going to get a little tighter right here. But I think we're still okay. Just kind of lay the old boat right in here. Remember, she's pretty tough. If she bangs a little bit, you're still okay. And just slide right on in. Now, we have a choice to make here. This pod is kind of right in the way. Um, I'm going to switch to conning tower. Kind of move this way. And down the keel. Okay, let's bring the boat about... Like this. Let's check the screw. We're fine. Let's descend. Back to the keel. Let's descend a touch more. Conning tower. Watch your head right here. Should be fine. So far, so good. That's a little tight here. A little fram of lamb. That's okay. There's a crab squid. Uh, maybe a good idea to turn the lights off. Just in case. See? Okay. He's noticed me. Uh, that's not great. Okay. Just go. Just go. It's okay. Just ram him. He's not, this is the first time you're getting to see, you know, the Leviathan indicators there. Um, okay, belly cam. Belly cam, kill cam. Crab squid, not, not, not too much to worry about. All right, I'm going to bring the boat about and I'm going to shoot right through this hole right here. Should be fine. Yep, yeah, should be fine. So far, so good. Now, there are some brilliant features of game design in this game that sort of work like breadcrumbs that lead you from one biome to another. In fact, now that we've made it this far, I'm going to save it. And if you're down here exploring, and you're just on your own, you haven't really explored this uh, area before. Alright, here's a good time to just stop. We're going to go up a bit. We're going to go forward a bit. We don't want to hit the suck ups on the base. But anyway, so you know, if you're down here by the Degasi base, you might very well notice these glowing green pools over here and certainly that's going to look kind of odd so it's going to capture your attention right well sure it should so just uh go on down this is the way to the lost river so that's how you find your way in my god this is beautiful isn't it take a picture let's take a look at the conning tower now we're in where it's going to get super tight so Let's kind of go down as far as we can, right there. Go forward a bit. Down some more. All right, perfect. All right. Down some more. Screw cam, super useful here. All right, now we have a another tight turn to make here. See, it doesn't look so tight from the screw cam, but it seems, it seems a bit tight here, and from the conning tower, it is definitely tight. So we need to go forward from here. I don't think the warpers can warp you out of the Cyclops, but we're getting ready to find out, I think. Okay, bring the boat about. so perfect all right let's kind of line up with this uh, shaft or trench whatever you want to call it just set her down easy set her down easy set her down easy 
Setter. Oh, we've hit something. What have we hit? Probably one of the... Or maybe that rock. I don't know. Let's go ahead. Slow. In fact, it might not be a bad idea to change. There we go. Should have been doing that anyway. All right. Now let's set her down. Set her down. Screw cam. All right. We're beautiful back here. So keep an eye here on the nacelles that can bang rather easily. Let's go on ahead. All right. Counting tower can help you keep an eye on things. Now let's bring her off to the port. Set her on down, set her on down. We're almost to that big room. Set her on down. And we should be good. Watch out for the wildlife. You don't want to assassinate them, you know what I'm saying? Okay, we're doing really well. Uh, we're down 615 meters. We got a max of 900. We still have 91% on the power cells. Okay. Let's just set her on down. Set her on down. Set her on down. There we go. All right, now we're in this big old room. So we have officially made it at this point. Don't ram into my boat. Turn that light off. It's not necessary. So we're back to where we were with the Seamoth. Just kind of checking around. My head just a hair. What we could do is probably try and set her down some more. Easy does it. Easy does it. Just just tap the button. If you have the engine on slow, it'll move slower than normal. That's what we want. Nice and easy. Set her on down. Nice and easy. Set her on down. Set her on down. Okay. So you see those bones over there. Oops, those bones. You can't zoom with this, can you? No, you can't. Uh, that's that's where we're headed. Yeah, right over there. So let's bring her about to port. We could probably just look through the old front door with this. At least for the first little bit. Yeah, I think this is the right way to go. <laughs> you know what's not a bad idea? What's not a bad idea would be to make a beacon. Notice the green stuff is giving us some nice ambient light inside the boat. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's super cool. Anyway, let's... I'm going to make a couple of beacons. Wow, this is really nice lighting. I'm going to make three, actually, and just a lump of copper and a lump of titanium for each. You may need more, but this is the beauty of having a mobile base. Oh, that's great. Let us do that. Okay. Now, turn the light off on this because you don't want... I'm going to go back here and actually put one out up here so that we see where, where we need to come in here from. Let's see, there's our boat. We came in this way, didn't we? The warpers may give us a little bit of trouble.
Yeah, right here's probably good. I mean, I'm probably not gonna forget. Darn you! Uh, lost river. Sack in. And just get the heck out of here. <laughs> yeah, okay, there we go. We've left. We've got a beacon there now. Now, where to? Notice there's all these roots down here, which is just crazy, isn't it? What do these roots be doing? It's like Yggdrasil's roots down here. Wacky. Now, you ain't seen nothing yet, folks. You ain't seen nothing yet. Well, the temptation is... Now that we have the Cyclops down here, to continue our scouting with the Seamoth, and I, I do believe that's probably the right move. I'm going to save. Mm -hmm. I love this ambient light in here. It's so cool. Very good. So let's head out this way. And just bask in the glory of this place. Alright, so this is where the fork in the road is. I think this is a honest god fork in the road. Pretty sure. Yeah, it is. So we're going to backtrack here. I'm going to put a beacon here, mainly, well, it's not super important. The, the Cyclops is right there. I was going to put a beacon here that marks the fork in the road, but not really necessary. Look at this. Skull. Holy crap. Look at that. This is not just any skull. It is a very important skull. It looks like it's being observed by this alien tech. The same tech that made the ray gun. Hmm. Fascinating. What kind of skull is that? I think it might be some time to do some scanning. What do you think? Uh. Yeah. Can we scan this? I think you can. Oh, yeah. Ancient Skeleton. We'll read it later. Nice. Is this uh, scannable? It is. Alien Sensor. We'll be sure to check that out when we get back to the boat, too. It's wild and crazy. So this is definitely being observed. Or at least it was observed at some point. It's obviously important. There's Ruby down there. But you might end up dying because the green stuff is, is bad for you. What do we have here? Another egress point? Holy crap. I think... Uh, can't get in there yet. You're going to want an orange tablet. Okay. I have to come back with a tablet. And then we'll definitely go in there. We have an orange tablet. And more than that, we have the means to make... An orange tablet, I do believe. Yeah, but we need nickel. Which I believe we find down here. It's just super hard to see. This is very impressive. 
Ay, ay, ay. What's over here? I gotta keep an eye on my O2, but... Can you slash these? Yeah, you can, but it doesn't really do anything. Hmm. Fascinating. Be a nice angle for a photo here. Maybe over here. I want to try to get a picture of this. Thirty seconds. Yeah, there we go. Alrighty, let's get back to the boat. What's our pictures look like? Eh, not bad. That one's terrible. Because the thing's in the way, right? That one was taken by mistake. Let's just get rid of it. This one's cool. I think I took it by mistake, but nonetheless... Yeah, I don't need that. That one... That one's pretty. That one was probably supposed to be meant to be better than it is. Let's just get rid of it. All right, so we're sitting down in here. I think that counts as sitting down, so we're not going to use water and food as fast. Let's check this alien data. Scan data, research probes. The prominence and facing of these alien devices suggest they are some kind of probe or sensor. Their subject would be the vast skeleton in the center of the cavern. The attached cable network may lead to a remote power station or data hub. Assignment, investigate. Well, we'll do that for sure. We need an orange tablet. On a deceased. Ancient fossilized skeleton. The skeleton of a million-year-old armored carnivore. Jeez, million-year-old, huh? Projections suggest this life form would have been larger than any living creature encountered on the planet. Whoopsie. The oceans of the time would have been very different to support life forms of this size, with more open geography and many more individuals in the Leviathan range. Yikes. Ghost Ray. This ray species has adapted to deep sea conditions. Its body is fully protected by a translucent skin, and its large wings are capable of generating considerable thrust. Number one, poisonous flesh. As is common for rays on 4546b, the ghost ray's flesh is inedible, making it one of the more resilient herbivores. Two, feeding behavior feeds on plant matter that is settled on the ground in deep sea caverns. Assessment inedible. What else you got for me? Amoeboid. A simple, non sentient organism. Non sentient, even. Found attached to land with high levels of fossilized organic matter. It feeds on this matter until it reaches maturity, at which point it divides to create two new, genetically identical offspring. And the cycle continues. Is that everything? It's everything. Well, the more you know, right? The more you freaking know. I need to drink something. Now let's head up back to the Cyclops and get some water and an orange tablet. How about that? Or, uh, you know, like an orange knee-high. Would that, would that serve both needs? I don't know. Probably not. shoobity doo shoobity doo I'm in the Lost River with spooks all over the place. It's great. Let's just point up. I'm just going this way. Excellent. I probably could turn the lights on now, couldn't I? Boom. All right, there we go. Hmm. 
Could you could you just fucking slice a melon? Vital signs stabilizing. All right. Regenerate, and we'll just chuck these into the trash. Uh, we need a thing, don't we? Somebody got me. Oh, that's actually a pretty nice picture. Look at that. Got the sea moth in there and everything. That's kind of cool. I'm not in love with the composition. I wanted to have these uh, sensors or lights at the top visible. I wish the skeleton were more, you know, maybe right over here. But I, I couldn't line that up because there's actually a rock... You know, right on this side. But it's decent. It's decent. I like it. Reminds me of my mini adventures. Okay, let's just quit screwing around. Orange tablet. I only have one. I'm probably going to need a purple one down here, too. I just about bet you. Somewhere. Hmm, but we'll have to find out next time. On Let's Play Subnautica here at the Rocks Roost. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.